Hey friends, so welcome back. So in this series Exchange Admin Center, we are going to learn how to create a new user email box. So first of all, you need to log on your admin center, then Exchange, and from here you need to click on Recipients. From here you need to click on Contact this time. So here you can see as uh, there is a plus sign so we need to click on that sign here uh, we need to click on mail user so if you want to create a mail account, uh, contact you can do that but now we are going to create a mail user so we need to click on mail user so it will redirect you with another page so from here you need to fill a standard form like this time i'm going to create account for ajay Kumar, uh, no, this is the initial, initial, and the, this is the last name Kumar, and this would be his like uh, display name, and under alias we need to enter his name without any space, Ajay Kumar. If you want, you can enter his uh, external email address, or you can choose uh, like uh, for a uh, username and here you need to select uh, what email id you want to give him like uh, if you have a multiple domain you need to select from here and here you need uh, as i am separating this with the comma uh, sorry dot so ajay.kumar at sumbaya1 at online microsoft.com should be his uh, email address so here i need to choose a password and in the right side you will get a notification that must uh, password must meet the complexity of the history requirement of the domain so here i need to choose a strong password so after filling this form you need to click on save button so now you can see it's uh, showing under like a contact and we have a two user here it's a mail user and this is his smtp address and uh, if we want to assign him license so we need to go to office 365 panel so we need to refresh this and here you will see ajay kumar is showing under office 365 active users and uh, license status is unli uh, unlicensed so we need to select that user from here we need to click edit we you need to select your location and here you need to turn on your license if you have a multiple license you need to take care of that so now i have a e5 so i'm going to assign this license to ajay so after this you need to click on save button so now you can see ajay is a like a valid user for office 365 or exchange so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our youtube channel for more video thanks